Hi, welcome to another episode of Simplified Oral Pathology. Today we will be discussing giant cell fibroma. Okay. Now, when you hear the name giant cell fibroma, the question that comes to your mind is, is it just a lesion that is fibroma with a lot of giant cells in it? Yes and no. From an exam point of view, when you are asked about giant cell fibroma, you should describe fibroma with the differences in mind. That is, there are many differences between the normal intraoral fibroma and giant cell fibroma. So, when you are asked giant cell fibroma in an exam, know that you are basically describing a fibroma with certain differences that we will discuss soon. From an entrance point of view, you are not expected or you are not expected to write out the whole differences, but you are expected to know what the differences are and how these or how this lesion that is how giant cell fibroma differs from the normal fibroma. Even though giant cell fibroma from its name suggests that it is a fibroma with giant cells in it, there are quite a few differences. In fact, giant cell fibroma is a whole other lesion which looks like a fibroma with giant cells in it. So, we will go into the differences one by one. Okay? Now, the first and the main difference is in the etiology. Irritational fibroma, as the name suggests, was caused mainly due to an irritational focus or due to irritation in the oral cavity. While there was also a neoplastic reason that was discussed, it is actually considered to be a response to irritation in the oral cavity. Now, giant cell fibroma, the etiology is not irritational. The etiology is neoplastic. So, remember, giant cell fibroma is neoplastic while focal fibrous hyperplasia or irritational hyperplasia is considered to be or the etiology is considered by many or by majority of oral pathologists to be irritational. As for the occurrence, there is a difference in the age of occurrence of these lesions as well. In the fibroma video, we had discussed that fibroma occurs between 30 to 50 years of age, while giant cell fibroma occurs around about 30 years of age. So, again there is a small difference in the age of occurrence as well. When we discussed about the appearance, we had discussed about fibroma as a lesion with a remarkably smooth appearance. In contrast to fibroma, giant cell fibroma has a predominantly papillary surface. The presence of this papillary surface is reflected in the clinical appearance as well as the histopathological appearance. Because of this papillary appearance, giant cell fibroma looks more like a squamous papilloma than like a normal fibroma. So, keep in mind that giant cell fibroma has a papillary appearance and it is usually mistaken for a squamous cell, uh, it is usually mistaken for squamous cell papilloma. Now, we had discussed that fibroma because of its irritational nature were more, was most commonly found on the buccal mucosa. Giant cell fibroma on the other hand is predominantly found in the gingiva. So, giant cell fibroma in the gingiva and giant cell fibroma is predominantly found in the mandibular gingiva when compared to the maxillary gingiva. We can say that mandibular gingiva is affected twice as much as the maxillary gingiva, twice that, that is important in entrance point of view. Retrocuspid papillae are found near the gingiva of the mandibular cuspids. It is histopathologically very similar to the giant cell fibroma but smaller in size. When we start to discuss histopathology of giant cell fibroma, first we will be dis discussing about the epithelium. As we discussed in the clinical features, giant cell fibroma has a papillary appearance that is reflected in the histopathology also. The epithelium in giant cell fibroma is not atrophic, but rather it shows elongated retiridges. While at, if you recall in fibroma, the epithelium was atrophic. When we discuss histopathology of giant cell fibroma, let's address the elephant in the room. Giant cells. What are these giant cells actually? In oral pathology, giant cells are a huge topic. There are a different type of giant cells. There are a huge variety of number of giant cell lesions. We can go on and on and on. But that is way beyond the scope of this, this small topic. 
for the purpose of this discussion giant cells are formed when two or more single cells come together they cluster together and form one giant cell so this new giant cell has more than one nuclei that is they are multinucleated so because of this huge size and the multiple nuclei they are yes they are bizarre cells so that is why they are referred to as giant cells so in this lesion that is in giant cell fibroma the source of giant cell or the cell that forms the giant cells are the fibroblasts that is fibroblasts come together they cluster together and they form one single giant cell let us discuss about the giant cell or the presence of giant cell in giant cell fibroma first of all let us let let it be clear that giant cell fibroma is not full of giant cells giant cell fibroma is just a lesion wherein some giant cells are found so giant cells are present but they are not numerous where are they found they are not found throughout the lesion they are found somewhere closer to the epithelium they are few in number they are fewer in number maybe you will find maybe 2 to 3 giant cells only and they are closer to the epithelium now the origin of giant cell is fibroblast so they are multinucleated there there might be 2 to 3 nuclei in one cell and note that these nuclei are not hyperchromatic so giant cells are derived from uh, fibroblast they are found closer to the epithelium and they contain maximum 2 to 3 nuclei as for the, see, so these are the differences these are the to, uh, these are the points where giant cell fibroma differs from fibroma remaining there is an epithelium but here it is elongated not atrophic there is stroma there is a lot of collagen and there are maybe a uh, few blood vessels uh, giant cell fibroma is predominantly avascular but again you might find a couple of blood vessels again you will find a lot of collagen you might find fibrocytes but along with all these things near the epithelium if you find two or three more uh, two or three giant cells again it is a giant cell lesion along with all these other differences especially clinically and histopathologically as we discussed as for the management it is very similar to irritational fibroma the modality of management of giant cell fibroma like irritational fibroma is conservative excision the chances of recurrence are almost nil so that ends our discussion so you need to be aware of irritational fibroma fibroma and how it differs from giant cell fibroma so that's what is more important about all these two lesions so again stay tuned to our channel for more topics and videos do subscribe